I think my favorite thing about Founders would probably be everything. There's never a time when it's dead. There's never a time when you walk in and you feel alone or you feel by yourself. You walk in and you're instantly surrounded by people who you really like, people who really seem to care, uh, people who enjoy being here at Covenant, people who enjoy living life and, and being in relationships, those kind of things. Founders is great because it's right in the middle of everything. Like right in front of us is Sanderson and then the library is beside that. And then on right over on the other side is Mills and we're also beside Mac. And it's really great for art majors because the art barn in Jackson is right behind us. And we're close to Jackson Pond, which is cool. We have common areas where a lot of people hang out, the second lobby and third lobby especially. When I want to have fun, I know that there's always someone on the hall or someone around who is willing to put in the time and the effort just to have fun. Like there's some party or there's something fun going on somewhere in Founders. Even when there's not structured events, there's a whole bunch of stuff to do. You can always sit around and talk or go down to second lobby and play pool or watch people play pool. They're better than you. You know, Founders is a place where People come from different perspectives, different um, interests, um, and and are um, you know accepted the way they are. Yeah, founders, crazy. The guys and the girls, like everyone's kind of creative, like and very, very expressive. Um, I think that's what one of the things that makes founders great is that um, just people can be themselves and still feel loved. We have uh, catacombs, first bells, um, brethren and uh, Caledon, uh, and then we have Black Watch, and Jungle, and Balcony, uh, Rivendell, um, Gallery, and then Highlands. I mean, it's locations in the middle. We have four commons, like, areas, and, like, the halls are all really cool and, like, full of, like, creative people. Founders has a ton of cool events, and my favorite by far is the folk festival that Catacombs uh, puts on every year. It just really showcases um, some of the amazing musical talent and uh, literary talent that we have in this building. There's lots of, it's not just music, there's lots of uh, poetry readings and uh, short story readings. We have um, Get Night, which was really great. That was probably my favorite, just to see all the halls participate and some of those kids were really, really funny. Um, all of the halls come up with a skit and direct it themselves and then perform it for um, against the other halls in a kind of competition. You, you always have to walk through a commons in order to get to the hall, in order to get to your room. Most of the time when I walk through there's at least one or two guys, maybe even you know four or five, sitting around reading books together, doing homework. It's just, just a good place to hang out, play cards, board game, things like that. Stay up late, nobody has to go to bed in the commons. Well, we have a kitchen on Jungle, and it's really great. It really helps bring community to our hall because we can like make pancakes or we get together and make French toast and we have coffee. Bells is the only round hall. It's very, very odd, and, and I like round halls because the sense of community that Founders is notorious for really comes out when you're no, no more than 30 feet from everybody. Because of the centralized um, you know, game room and, and the, the commons areas and things. Community, in terms of coming out of their rooms and just like hanging out and, and uh, having deep conversations and things, those things happen, I think, a little bit easier here. It really creates a, a unique environment for building relationships. You, know, it's, you can't run away from them. You're kind of forced into it at first, but you realize that you, you enjoy that aspect of it.